Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I am so glad, so glad to be a part of and rejoice in it. Every day is a new day for every last one of us to always, always put our faith and our trust in Jesus, to always seek him, to always honor him, to always give him the thanks, to always give him the praise, to always give him the glory. And it's always a blessing for every last one of my brothers and my sisters. And you know exactly who you are for always tuning in each and every day to hear another word and hear another message coming from my heavenly father god i want to say god bless you i want to say thank y'all it's always a pleasure that y'all always taking the time out of y'all busy schedule to always listen to another word i want to thank every last one of y'all and before i get started i was going to just say a prayer real quick my brothers my sisters could you please bow your head real quick oh heavenly father god i just ask you today to come to every last one of our lives today I ask you right now in your holy name right now to come into our homes right now, to come into our situation right now. You know exactly what we're going through right now. You know exactly what we are facing right now today, oh, Heavenly Father God. And I just ask you right now in your mighty holy name right now just to touch us right now, oh, Heavenly Father God, and to lift us up right now in the time of our need right now. I'm asking you right now to do the unexpected in every last one of your sons and your daughter's life right now. And even though we might not know a way or see a way, oh, Heavenly Father God, but today we're putting our faith and our trust in you. We're claiming it right now. We're claiming victory right now. We're claiming victory right now. Nothing can stop us, oh, Heavenly Father God, because as long as you are for us, who can be against us? Oh, Heavenly Father God, today I ask you to bring your presence right now. I'm asking you right now to speak to every last one of your sons and your daughters so we'll know exactly what we need to hear that's coming from you. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we can't do nothing without you, but with you, we are everything. We want to give you the thanks today. We want to give you the praise today. We want to give you the glory for who you is and what you have done in every last one of our life. We want to say that we love you, Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sisters. That's why praise is so necessary. Praise is an everyday thing. Praise is something that I always want to do. Praise is something I'm going to do because I serve an awesome. I serve an amazing. And I serve a faithful God. And that's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I glorify him the way I do. That's why I shout out his holy name today. Glory! Hallelujah! Because our God is awesome. And he is amazing. And he is faithful. Amen. Amen. Give God the praise right now, my brothers and my sisters. I want y'all to give Jesus the praise right now. I want you to praise him like you never praised him before. I want you to give him the worthy life right now like you never worshiped him before. Give Jesus the thanks and give him the praise if you know it's all about him. Give Jesus the thanks and praise if you know he'll never do you wrong. If you know he'll never turn his back on you. Give Jesus the praise. Amen. Hey, man, he is so awesome. He is so amazing. He is so faithful. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. And today is the day of salvation, my brothers my sisters. I cannot express this enough. And if you have not asked Jesus today to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior Christ, today is the day, my brothers my sisters, that I'm encouraging you right now today just to start what you're doing right now today and boldly confess right now today and ask Jesus this one thing. Because I tell you what, my brothers and my sisters, there's a lot of people right now wish they can be in your situation right now. They're, if you only can imagine the people that want to be in your shoes right now, they are probably begging right now just to get a split for your second right now. But it's too late for them. They dead and gone. Laid in the cemetery. There's a lot of people right now begging right there, itching just to be in your situation right now. But they're in a the hospital right now. And I see you on life support or whatever the situation may be. But they wish they could be in your situation right now. But things not looking too good for them. But today, my brothers, today, my sisters, you have a chance right now. You have an opportunity right now. And all you have to do is head to the altar right now. All you have to do is just go in your room right now today and just shut the door behind you and just get on your knees and boldly confess and say, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I'm asking you to come into our life today. And I'm asking you right now today to be our Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there you're saved, you're born again. The Holy Spirit has invited himself in your life right now today. 
And if you have not done that today, please do so right now today because tomorrow is not promised. Next week is not promised. Next month is not promised. And next year is not promised. But I believe right now, somewhere, somewhere in the world, there's somebody right now heading to the altar. There's somebody right now that's heading to their room right now today. I just want to say glory, hallelujah to you, my brother, and glory, hallelujah to you, my sisters. Our God is good. He is so amazing. He is so faithful. The angels right now are rejoicing in heaven right now because somebody has just made that move. Amen, amen, amen. Glory, hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I tell you what. When the Holy Spirit speaks to me, it speaks to me in a whole lot of ways. And I always ask Jesus before I do any kind of sermon, before I even preach a sermon, Jesus, do I have permission to preach in your ministry again? Because it's none of mine. He lent it to me. I just don't come in here just to be preaching. I always ask permission. Do I have permission first to preach in your ministry? It's not mine, in his ministry. And he always say yes. And today, my brothers, my sisters, if it is so many messages today, so many messages today that the Holy Spirit spoke on. But this one, this one message today spoke a little higher than the most. Even though I know there's a, there are important messages as well. But this word and this anointed message today spoke a little higher today. And everybody going through this right here today. It's going to happen. It's going to happen no matter what. Even though right now things are looking so dark right now for us. Things are looking so gloomy right now right now today. It's like it's impossible right now today. But today we're going to come into agreement, my brothers and my sisters. We're going to come into agreement right now. And we're going to let Jesus know it's going to happen. We're going to make the devil mad today and say, you know what? I want y'all to exercise y'all faith like you ain't never exercised your faith before. That's what I want y'all to do through this message right now today. I really want y'all guys and my sisters right now to exercise your faith. When I say exercise your faith, I mean I want you to put your faith on a whole nother level. I mean I want you to take your faith on another level like you never took it before. And I want you to claim it. I want you to mean it. I want you to be sincere about it. Because at the end of the day, mm, glory, hallelujah. It's going to happen. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our help today. I just can't thank you enough for our vision today. I just can't thank you enough for the help. I can't thank you enough for the rain. I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done, what you about to do in our life. I just can't thank you enough how you about to move. I just can't thank you enough how you about to open doors. I just can't thank you enough for the breakthrough. I just can't thank you enough for the blessing. I just can't thank you enough for our deliverance. I can't thank you enough for the food that you put on our table. I can't thank you enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't thank you enough how you provide it. I just can't thank you enough how you making a way. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't think of our strength today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I glorify you the way I do. That's why I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus. Because I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love y'all to turn y'all back to Psalms chapter 62. And we're going to read verse 8. That's Psalms 62. And we're going to read verse 8. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word and this message today, let the church say amen. Amen. Praise God. Glory. Hallelujah. Trust in him. At all times, all people, pour your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Trust in him at all times. Pour our hearts to him, my brothers. Pour our hearts to him, my sisters, for God is our refuge. And I know right now, things are not looking too good for us right now. I know some of us have been in the drought for a long time right now. I know someone's been in the storm 
for a long time right now. I know some of right now owe our car payment. We behind two or three months right now. Some of us probably two or three months behind and our mortgage right now. Some of us right now probably two or three months behind and our light bill right now. Some of us probably right now owe the loan people money right now. We behind in our credit card debts right now. Right now, we don't know about dreams about to come to pass right now. But I tell you one thing, my brothers. I tell you one thing, my sisters. We might be struggling right now. We might, we might be in a financial debt right now. We might be in a storm right now. We might be behind on our car payment right now. We might be behind on our rent right now. We might be behind in our light payment right now. We might be behind in our loan payment right now. We might owe the creditors right now. But one thing I know for sure, my brothers, one thing I know for sure, my sisters, when we put our faith and trust in Jesus each and every day and we lay it in his hand, I tell you one thing for sure, it's going to happen and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm trusting him right now, my brothers. I am trusting him right now today, my sisters. And I'm saying I'm giving it to you right now today, Jesus. I can't make a way on my own, but I know if I give it to you right now, if I know I'm pouring my trust to you right now, I know if I'm pouring my heart into you right now, I know it's going to happen. Happen. And the reason why I know it's going to happen because I'm trusting you right now in this vulnerable moment right now. I'm trusting you right now when I don't see a way. I'm trusting you right now when I'm behind in my car payment. I'm trusting you right now when I'm behind in my rent. I'm trusting you right now when I'm behind in my light bill payment. I'm trusting you right now in my dreams when I don't see anything happening right now. I'm trusting you right now to send me that Samuel. I'm trusting you right now for you to send me that David. I'm trusting you right now for the open doors. I'm trusting you right now to send and rain. I'm trusting right now even though I owe my credit card debt, my credit card people a lot of money. I'm trusting right now because I owe the loan people right money. I'm trusting you right now even though when things are not looking too good right now, I am trusting you. I'm trusting you right now even though I don't see light. I'm trusting you even though I don't see the top of the mountain right now. I'm trusting you even though I might not see a way but I know that you are God and I know that you're still on the throne. I know that you're still performing miracles and wonders and I am trusting you right now today. Ain't nothing, no doubt about it. It ain't no maybe. Ain't no think about it. I'm trusting you right now. And that's what I mean, my brothers. That's what I mean, my sisters. I want you right now today to exercise your faith right now today. And as you exercise your faith right now today, I want you to give Jesus some thanks right now today. I want you to give him some praise right now today and say, Jesus, even though I don't see anything happening for me right now, but I'm still hanging in there. I'm still going to thank you. I'm still going to praise you. I'm still going to glorify you. I'm still going to get on my knees every day and pray to you. I'm still going to open my Bible every day and read a word and the message that's coming to you today. I'm still going to shout out your holy name every day. I'm still going to glorify you every day. I'm still going to seek you every day. Ain't nothing going to stop me no matter what it is because I know for a fact it's going to happen because when I'm trusting you, when I'm trusting you, that I know that you're a man not to lie. When I'm trusting you, I know that you ain't, got, you ain't about to fail when I'm trusting you I know that you are for me and not against me when I'm trusting you I know that you're going to provide I know that you're going to make a way and I know that you're going to come through so right now today my brothers my sisters I'm trusting Jesus I'm trusting Jesus I'm trusting Jesus all the way and that's what I mean by exercise your faith I want you to say no matter what I'm going through right now yes I know these people are calling me right now I know I'm behind on these bills. And let the bills keep piling up. But as long as I'm on my knees every day praying and worshiping and seeking Jesus, I know that Jesus is going to tell somebody to send me a check right now to pay this rent up, to pay this to pay my car pay, to pay my car payment up, to pay my light bill up. I know I owe the loan people, but I know somehow, some way, when I'm trusting Jesus right now in the midst of my troubles right now, I know that he's going to wipe everything clean right now for us today because today is going to happen. It's going to happen sooner or later. I don't have the timetables of when it's going to do, but when I'm trusting Jesus, Jesus said, don't worry about the small stuff. He said, don't sweat that. He said, if I take care of the birds, you don't think I'm going to take care of you? He said that you are more valuable than the birds. So he's telling you, no matter what, he said, if I take care of them and I feed them on a daily basis, he said, don't you think I'm going to take care of you? He don't think I'm going to feed you? Matthew 6, 26. Read the word of God for yourself. I'm only preaching the facts today, my brothers. I'm only preaching the facts today, my sisters. Jesus said, he's going to take care of you. And the reason why he's going to take care of you, because you are the real MVP to his eyes. Not the birds' eyes, but his eyes. And he said, don't worry about that. 
He said, it's going to happen, but he wants you to trust him right now. He wants you to trust him right now when names right now, it's when things not looking too good for you right now. When you're back against the wall right now, Jesus said, trust me right now. He said, trust me right now when people blowing up your phone right now. He said, trust me right now. He said, trust me right now if you think your life's about to get cut off. He said, trust me right now. He said, trust me right now if you think the repo man is about to come take your vehicle right now. He said, trust me now. He said, trust me right now if you think you're about to get an eviction right now. He said, trust me right now. He said, trust me right now if you think that your dreams are going to go to pass and you think about throwing in the towel. He said, trust me right now. He said, trust me right now. I know that you owe the loan people right now, but he said, there ain't nothing going to happen. He said, trust me right now. He said, I am the loan officer. I'm going to give you the money to pay the loan back and a little bit more, but he's saying, trust me right now. My brothers, my sisters, I want you to trust Jesus right now. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now today. But right now, my brothers and my sisters, I want you to exercise your faith right now. I want you to trust. I want you to trust. I want you to trust. I want you to trust like you never trusted before. And say, our God is good. Our God is amazing. Our God is faithful. And he will come through because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Your dream is going to come to pass. It's going to happen. You don't work too hard. You don't put in too much work. Jesus said, you put in the work and watch me bring the blessing. You put in the work, watch me bring the David. You put in the work, watch me bring the Samuel. You put in the work, watch me open up doors. You put in the work and watch me do what you can't do on your own. You just put in the work. And the work that we got to do is, is trust in him. That's all you got to do, my brothers. Trust him. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I believe right now Jesus making some moves right now today. Jesus and his angels right now. He got his angels right now to go to every last one in your house. This is your month that your blessing will not miss your house this month because Jesus is in the business and helping right now. He's in the business right now to provide it. He's in the business right now to do what you can't do on your own. He's in the business right now. He's about to open up some doors that no one can shut. He's in the business right now. When it's your time to get blessed, you about to get blessed. He has seen everything and he has seen everything that you have gone through winter he's know that you've been seeking him he has been watching as you've been praising him he's been watching as you've been glorifying him so right now jesus and his angels right now they in full authority on you right now he's about to bless you he's about to come through it's about to happen it's about to happen it's about to happen it's about to happen and if you know it's about to happen give jesus some thanks right now if you know it's about to happen give jesus some praise right now if you know it's about to happen right now give him the glory right now it's about to happen it's about to happen and I'm saying thank you, Jesus. 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 It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Because I'm trusting you. Always. In Jesus' mighty holy name. I don't know who this word for the day. I don't know who this message for the day. But this word and this message today is for, for somebody today. Just tell you stuff. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I know right now it's looking dark right now. I know it's looking gloomy right now. I know it ain't looking good right now. But my brothers and my sisters, I want you to exercise your faith. The word of God says trust him at all times. Even at the time right now. Even at the time right now. When you think it's about to go down. When you think it's about to fail, Jesus saying, trust me right now. Even right now, when you think that your car about to get repo, when you think you're about to get evicted from your house, when you think that your life's about to get cut off, when you think that you might go to jail because you owe these loan people, or you think that you can't get approved for the next apartment, or you think that your dreams are going to come to pass, he said, trust me right now and point your heart to him. So right now, we're in agreement right now, my brothers, my sisters. I want every last one of my brothers, I want every last one of my sisters right now in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus to come into an agreement right now. See, you know what? And we're going to say it all together. It's going to happen. No matter what it look like right now. No matter what it look like right now. You know what we're up against right now today, Jesus. You know what we've been facing for a long time today, Jesus. But right now, every last one of my brothers, every last one of my sisters right now, we're in agreement with you right now. And we know that you're going to make a way. We know that you're going to provide. We know that you're going to come through. So we are trusting. We are trusting. We are trusting. We are trusting you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we know for a fact, long that we are trusting you, long that we are seeking you, long we doing what we're supposed to do by praising you and seeking 
using you and glorify you and pouring our heart to you and trusting you in this vulnerable time and this vulnerable moment right now. We know that you're going to come through. We know that you're going to provide and we want to say thank you. 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 We want to say thank you because it's going to happen. And we claim it right now today. We receive it right now today. In the mighty name of Jesus, give Jesus some thanks right now. Give him some praise right now. Give him some glory right now. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Glory! Hallelujah. It's going to happen. And if this word, and if this message today is for you, my brothers and my sisters, I want you to give Jesus a round of applause right now. I want you to give him the thanks like you never thanked him before. I want you to give him the praise like you never praised him before. I want you to give him the glory right now. Say, it's going to happen. Everything's going to be all right. My brothers and my sisters, everything's going to be okay. God is for us. God is going to come through. He's going to provide. His angels right now, they're on overboard. They ain't going to sleep today. They ain't going to sleep tonight. Jesus has assigned every last one of his angels and gave them an assignment just for you, just to come through, just for you and your situation. I believe he's doing that right now today. The door's about to open. Phone calls about to get received. Letters about to come that we need to ask for. Promotion, increase, favor is upon us right now today because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. This minister LT, I love y'all. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always give Jesus the thanks. Always give him the praise. Always give him the glory. And, and tell yourself today, that it's going to happen. My brother, my sister, I know what you're going through. I know what you're facing. I'm in this situation too. But I tell you what, my brother, my sister, we're in this agreement together right now today. It's going to happen. And all we can continue to do is continue to trust him. Jesus already know what we need. He's going to provide. He's going to open up the doors. He's going to send us the help. He's going to send us the rain. He's going to send us more than enough, my brothers and my sisters. Get ready. Your blessing is on the way. Because it's going to happen. This minister LT, I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. God bless you.